This video is of a radial sensory nerve decompression on a patient who had a proximal humeral fracture. Over time, the nerve regenerated and she recovered motor function. We did do a decompression of the posterior androsseous nerve. But over time, she developed neuropathic pain in the radial sensory nerve distribution. You can see that the incision is just volar to the point of the intersection between the tendons of the extensor carpi radialis longus and the brachioradialis. So I'm moving this incision just off the exact location of the radial sensory nerve so that the healing is not going to be over the radial sensory nerve. The first thing to do when you come in is to protect the lateral antibrachycutaneous nerve, and you'll see that nerve very shortly in the subcutaneous tissue. I'll mobilize it proximally and distally so that as I do the retraction to see the radial sensory nerve, I won't be causing any traction injury on this lateral antibrachycutaneous nerve. Now if I go deeper at this location and a little bit more dorsal uh, radial, I'll see the location of the juncture and the intersection of the ECRL tendon and the brachioradialis uh, tendon. Just between these two tendons, which you're going to see in just a moment here, will be the radial sensory nerve. Initially you don't see the radial sensory nerve because it's covered with fascia and it's deep underneath these tendons as it's exiting below the brachioradialis and then coming up to its more superficial location. So you see some tendons in here, and one will be ECRL, extensor carpi radialis longus, and then the other brachioradialis. You can see a little bit of yellow color. That's where the radial sensory is going to be. And then the typical um, uh, appearance of the brachioradialis tendon. The brachioradialis tendon is volar and the extensor carpi radialis longus is more dorsal. You can see as I'm releasing the radial sensory in here I'm slowing down. There's a lot of sticky tissue in here because of the injury she had with her radial nerve not working for months and edema and at this tight spot that radial sensory nerve is stuck in. As I do the dissection, you'll see a little bit of hyperemia exactly at the entrapment point of these two tendons. And then tissue underneath the brachioradialis tendon is sticky as well. So now I'm slowly releasing the radial sensory in here. I don't want to get any kind of injury on the radial sensory nerve as I'm doing this dissection. And it is tight and it's sticky and it doesn't have any glide, so you have to go slow with this dissection as you mobilize the radial sensory nerve. And I think you can see that little bit of a blush of a few millimeters just at that, right there, just at that point between the two tendons. If you move the forearm into pronation and supination, you can see how tight it is in pronation and it does loosen up a bit in supination. Now that I've confirmed, yes, this is the brachioradialis tendon, I'm carefully doing a complete tenotomy and then I'll resect a portion of that brachioradialis tendon proximally and distally so that there is no way that that tendon in any way whatsoever can stick back again on that radial sensory nerve. As you come proximal, there will be some uh, fascial bands that will also compress the radial sensory nerve underneath the brachioradialis tendon, and you get some down curve retractors with your assistant helping you to see those fascial bands and release them. The postoperative management is marking in the incision a light dressing and then the start the patients on unrestricted range of movement. There's those tight bands right there. Unrestricted range of movement two or three days uh, post-op after they've had a little bit of time just to let things settle down. I'd like to make a distinction between neuropathic pain being due to compression like this woman had versus neurectomy. If you were to take this woman and do a neurectomy transposition, you would make them worse. They just need this decompression. And there's your LABC, nice and loose, the little tiny branch there as well.